What's good Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Vaughn here back again with another video for you guys. Man, today we're going to be talking about Moro. How strong is Moro exactly? Because this man could keep absorbing planets. I feel like his the upside to his power is like infinite. We don't even know how strong this man could get. And now that he, him and, and Goku and Vegeta is going to clash pretty soon, maybe in the next one to two chapters we're finally going to see how strong this man could be because he's going to go absorb some more planets and from the last from the last chapter we know that he could sense vegeta and how strong vegeta is getting so he's got to get to the pinnacle of his strength he he doesn't know if there's a ceiling to his strength so how strong can this man possibly be could moro be the most powerful character villain that our characters have ever fought. That includes Majin Buu, who pretty much was very strong, just indestructible. Um, Cell, Frieza, Jiren. How strong can this man actually be compared to those characters? Moro versus Jiren. How about that? Moro versus Topo. That's crazy. It's crazy to think about how strong he could be relatively to these other characters yet because we haven't seen him face Ultra Instinct yet, which is the strongest form of Goku we've seen so far. And with that being said, we don't even know if Goku even got to reach Ultra Instinct because him and Maris didn't even fully get to fully train to the point where he could get to the Ultra Instinct part. But now there's some theories of people that says that Goku was able to, you know, get into Ultra Instinct at will. I don't know. I don't think so. It's still yet to be found. It's still yet to be seen if Goku can actually tap into Ultra Instinct at will as of right now. We don't know. But the battle between these guys is coming up soon. Uh, we're going to have him facing Vegeta who's learning his spirit control. And that made Goku, that made uh, Moro want to, you know, absorb some more planets so he can get stronger. So presumably that means Vegeta is a lot stronger too. So how strong can this man be with absorbing all those planets? And can he even absorb Go when if if this is like a possibility? Let's say his plan is to let Goku and Vegeta get as strong as they possibly can. Because there has to be an end goal to his his like plan. Let's say he's letting Vegeta and Goku get to their pinnacle of their strength so he can absorb their power and possibly fight the gods of destruction that's just a, a thought I don't know him facing Beerus I don't know how this is supposed to end because we've seen Ultra Instinct is and we don't know if Ultra Instinct is going to be the way that we take down Moro spare control with Vegeta we don't even know how that's going to lead to him taking out Moro so there's a lot of questions in the air on how we're going to take out Moro. How strong is this freaking guy? Because he is a very interesting character. And uh, we need more backstory to this guy. But let me know what you guys think. How strong do you guys think Moro is relatively to all the characters that we've seen? And compared to all the other characters and villains that we've seen, do you think he is the strongest by far? And at what level do you give him at? ultra instinct level god tier level leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and i'll check you guys later peace youtube